So guys, today I'm going to be showing you a brand new card duplication glitch in GTA 5 Online. So I hope you all do go on to enjoy today's video. If you do guys, don't forget to drop a like down below, it really does help me out. Also, I'm going to be doing another video in a few hours, probably around 3-4 to four hours after this video goes up. So make sure you guys are checking back to my channel for that. And I hope you will do go on to enjoy and without further ado, let's get straight into this. So starting this off, you do need a friend in the game, so make sure that you have a friend available. If you don't have anybody to do this with, make sure you comment your gamer tags down below and help each other out with this. But once your friend is in the game, make sure that he is waiting outside of your garage. Now once he is waiting outside, simply walk into your garage and make sure that you have a motorcycle available. It doesn't really matter which motorcycle you use as long as you have a motorbike available. Now what you want to do from there is get onto your motorcycle and then once you guys are on it you want to press the back button to bring up the interaction menu and you want to set your vehicle access to passengers. Now once you guys have done that press B and then drive outside of your garage and keep the motorcycle still at all times until your friend gets on the back. Now once he is on the back of the motorbike you then want to drive around in a circle and you also want him to keep pressing the left bumper to keep pulling out his weapon constantly. As you guys can see he needs to keep pressing the LB button constantly and from there what you want to do is get off your motorbike and then walk inside of your garage. Now as long as your friend keeps pressing that left bumper to pull out his weapon and pull it away he will not get off the bike. If he doesn't do this, he will fall off the bike, so he has to keep doing that over and over again. And what you want to do from there, guys, is get into any vehicle that you want to duplicate. So as you guys can see, I'm going to be duplicating the Zentorno. So what you want to do is drive that vehicle outside of your garage, and once again, keep it still, guys. You have to keep it still. And once it is outside of your garage, as you guys can see, your friend should still be pressing the LB button. And then once your vehicle is completely driven out, what you then want to do is have your friend shoot you and kill you whilst you are inside the vehicle. Now once he eventually does kill you, you will respawn. And what you want to do is as soon as you respawn, you want to run all the way back to where your friend was on the motorbike. And once you get back to him, you then want to tell your friend to get off the motorbike and then you will see another vehicle appear on the minimap with the tracker on it. Now that is the car as you guys can see there. It has now spawned across the road and it has a tracker on it and that is your original vehicle. And the vehicle you drove out in is now the duplicated vehicle as you guys can see. So as soon as you die in the vehicle and you respawn and your friend gets off the motorbike, it will basically make a copy of the car and it will spawn that copy with a tracker on it somewhere around the area as you guys just saw me do. Now if you do want to store these vehicles inside of your garage, you do need to do a glitch to do that. You cannot drive these vehicles inside of your garage guys. If you do drive them in, this glitch will not work and it will fail. So you do need to do the insurance glitch on the duplicated vehicle, the one that you had originally drove out as you guys can see, which is the one without a tracker on it. If you do the insurance glitch on this vehicle, it will store in your garage and then you will have two copies of the vehicle that you duplicated. Additionally, your friend can also do the insurance glitch on this vehicle. I'm going to be showing you that very shortly, but your friend can also do the insurance glitch on the duplicated vehicle and then he can actually store the vehicle in his garage, which means you can technically give the car to your friend. Now in order to do the insurance glitch or store the vehicle in your garage, what you want to do is have your friend who was in the game with you helping you with the glitch you want to have your friend find a new session it is absolutely essential that he finds a new session and then once he spawns into that new session you want to have him host a rockstar created race now once he has hosted the rockstar created race what you then want to do is have him invite you to that race via the phone so it can show up on your job list now from there guys what you want to do is park the vehicle exactly as you just saw me do there and it will not despawn if you park it with two wheels on the road and two wheels on the pavement the car will not despawn and if you are using a different garage if you park the vehicle just about the same distance you guys can see from my garage door it shouldn't despawn anyway nevertheless once you walk inside of your garage what you then want to do is get on any vehicle that you do not want anymore so as you guys can see i have two dinka thrusts so i'm going to be using this as i do not want it and it is going to be replaced with the spare zentorno outside now once you guys get on the vehicle you want to bring up your job list, go to the invite that your friend sent you from the Rockstar Created Race, click on it once and it should bring up the invitation screen. Now from here guys you do have to be really really precise and very fast, you want to press A and accelerate at the exact same time. So that is A and RT at the exact same time guys you have to be very very crucial there and what will happen is you should notice that your screen flashes black and you may hear your garage door open but at the same time you basically are going to be spawning into your friend's session. Now once you eventually spawn into your friend's session, what you then want to do is simply quit as fast as you can and if you have quit and you have done the glitch correctly, you will spawn down into your garage into a glitched position like so. 
Now once you guys do spawn into this glitch position, what you then want to do is simply run as fast as you can out of the garage door and into the vehicle that did not have a tracker on it, the one that you parked exactly as I did. Now what you want to do is as soon as you get into the vehicle, simply sit still in the vehicle until it glitches you back into a garage and that is the glitch done. You now have the duplicated vehicle as you guys can see. I can now drive this vehicle straight into my garage. It now has a tracker on it and you guys will notice as soon as I go back into my garage, I will now have two black and red Zentornos. The original one with the tracker on it will teleport back into your garage. And as you guys can see, that is the glitch done. That is how you do it, guys. That is how you store both of them in your garage. You can also have your friend do the insurance glitch you just saw me do on the duplicated vehicle so you can basically give him a copy too. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to leave the commentary there. I am also going to be doing another video in a few hours' time, so make sure you guys check back for that. Also, I'm currently working on the fastest and best way to get any car for free on the Xbox, so make sure you also leave a like if you want to see that too. Nevertheless, I hope you all did enjoy, and with that being said, I will see you all in the next video.